This training session will cover notes and documents in Therapy Notes. Before you begin writing notes in Therapy Notes, it's helpful to be familiar with the workflow that takes place. To write a note for an appointment in Therapy Notes, you'll need to have a patient entered and have an appointment on the schedule that is no more than five minutes in the future. This is to prevent data entry errors while writing notes and ultimately billing for the claim. Some notes in Therapy Notes have additional qualifications, such as having a specific clinician type or having certain other notes previously written, but we'll cover that later. For now, we'll start with editing some of your default note settings. You can find these options by going to the user icon, then settings, and scrolling down until you find the notes and coding section. The first setting we're going to edit is diagnosis codes. By default, Therapy Notes includes DSM-5 and DSM-4 diagnosis codes, but you can add additional diagnosis codes by clicking Add Custom Diagnosis Code, filling in the diagnosis code, description, and specifiers, and then clicking Add Diagnosis Code. Under your diagnosis code list, you can see the code you just added as long as you are showing custom diagnosis codes. You may now use this code in any clinical notes you write. Going back to the settings section, we're also going to edit your interventions list. Editing your interventions list is important for writing your notes because it allows you to quickly notate the interventions you use while also removing the ones you don't. Adding one is as easy as typing the intervention and clicking Add Intervention. Removing it only requires clicking the corresponding X button. Once you've added an intervention, it will appear as a checkbox within your progress notes. Keep in mind that this list applies only to you. Adding an intervention will not provide it to other users, nor will removing an intervention prevent other practice members from using it. Finally, the last setting we're going to edit is the note printing options. Within the note printing section, check off the items you would like to appear on notes, as well as where you want the note header printed. Then click Save Settings. Now that the settings have been adjusted, we can begin the process of actually writing notes. The first note we're going to write is a psychotherapy intake note. As you can see on the scheduling page, we already have the appointment on the schedule. We can also see that we are the assigned clinician. This is very important because if you are not the clinician on the appointment, you cannot write the corresponding note. The exception to this is if you have the role of clinical administrator. In that case, writing the note will override the appointment and set you as the clinician for the appointment. The first step to writing the note is on the to-do list. Within the list, you'll see an item with the date of service asking you to create a psychotherapy intake note for the appointment we just looked at. If you click on the blue text reading, Create a Psychotherapy Intake Note, you'll be taken into the note template. We could write the note now, but we're going to look at a few different ways to get to the note template first. Another way is to go to the scheduling page then click on the appointment you'd like to write the note for. When you click the appointment, you'll see up to three tabs, Appointment, Notes, and Billing. If you click on the Notes tab, you can begin writing your note by clicking Psychotherapy Intake Note. Yet another way to write a note for a patient is by going to Patients, the Patient's Name, and the Documents tab. From there, click Create Note and select the type of note you'd like to write as well as the date and time of the appointment. Before we continue with this training session, we'd like to remind you that if you have any questions, you can find additional resources by going to the user icon and clicking Help. This will bring you to our Help Center which contains numerous articles and videos explaining how to use therapy notes. If you'd prefer one-on-one -on -one assistance, you can call our support line or send us an email. As always, our support is unlimited and no additional cost. 
Now that you've learned how to bring up the note template, you can begin writing the note. As you can see, the note template includes multiple drop-down menus and checkboxes, making filling out your notes quick and easy. If you need to leave your desk before finishing your note, you can save it for later by leaving the box next to Sign this form unchecked, then clicking Save Draft. Once you've filled out the information you'd like to include, check the box next to Sign this form and click Create Note. Creating notes in Therapy Notes is straightforward if you have an appointment already made. However, it's also easy to write notes for unscheduled appointments. To write a note for an unscheduled appointment, go to Patients and select the patient's name. Then go to the Patients Documents tab, click Create Note, then select the type of note you'd like to make. In this example, let's select a consultation note. Since you don't have a consultation scheduled for this patient, click Create Note for an unscheduled appointment. Then, fill in the remaining details for the appointment. Once the details have been filled in, click Create Appointment. You may notice that this note template is very different from the intake note we saw earlier. This is because the note templates in Therapy Notes are tied to the appointment type when the appointment is made. If you go back to the Patient's Documents tab and click Create Note, you can see the other note types you can create in Therapy Notes. The only note types you won't see here are the psychiatry options. This is because the user account for this demonstration is set up as a psychologist. If a user's clinician type is one of the medication management options, you'll see the psychiatry note templates. Now let's look at how information carries from one note into another using a psychotherapy treatment plan and two psychotherapy progress notes. If you look under Demo Patients To-Do List, you'll see that this patient has two therapy sessions that require a progress note. However, if you click on the appointment and try to make a progress note, you'll see that the patient needs to have a treatment plan before a progress note is written. Therapy Notes requires a treatment plan before writing progress notes because the diagnosis and objectives you add will be carried into future progress notes. After the treatment plan is completed and saved, we're going to give creating a progress note another try. Now that the treatment plan has been written, you'll see that the diagnosis code and objectives are in the progress note. As you complete this note, you may also notice that there are history buttons next to many of the note fields. This allows you to look back into past notes written for this patient and even pull that information forward. This is a great tool for monitoring patient progress over the course of treatment and avoiding having to retype the same information. To see this, sign and save this progress note. Then open the progress note for the patient's next appointment. If you click on the history button, you'll not only see what you had previously written, but can also pull it into the note itself by clicking the use button. Even if you pull information from a previous note forward, you can edit the information before signing and saving the note. Going back to the Patient's Documents tab, you can see a full list of all of the notes that have been written for this patient. If a note is unsigned, it will be highlighted in yellow. You can access any notes by clicking on the name of the note or using the action icons to the right. Click the pencil icon to edit the note, the eye icon to view the note, or the cloud icon to download the note as a PDF. To download multiple notes at once in a single PDF, click the Download Multiple button under the list of notes and files. After using the checkboxes on the left to select which notes you want to include, download them by clicking Download Selected Documents.
When viewing an existing note, you may scroll to the bottom of the page for additional options. These include the ability to edit, download, or print the note, and access the revision history. Revision history shows you what changes have been made to the note since it was first saved, which is useful for logging addendums to notes while maintaining the original date of documentation in the event of an audit. If you are a clinical administrator, you may delete the note by clicking Delete Note, then clicking the Delete button to confirm your choice. That about covers notes that are generated from within Therapy Notes, but that's not everything you can do with documents. If you need to add a document from outside of Therapy Notes into a patient's chart, you may do so by clicking Upload Patient File, then selecting the file from your computer, choosing if the file type is administrative or clinical, naming and dating the document, and clicking Add Document. Editing a document involves clicking the Edit icon and changing the necessary information before clicking Save Changes. To remove a document, click Delete Document from this screen. Now, if your practice wants to have documents that everyone in the practice can access, such as consent forms, a great tool to use is the Practice Library, which is always accessible at the top of the page. What you can do with the Documents Library depends on what user role you have in Therapy Notes. Any user in the practice can view a document by clicking the document's name or the view icon, or download a document by clicking the download icon. If you are a practice administrator, you can add documents to the library by clicking Upload File. Once the file is selected, complete the upload process by naming and dating the file, then clicking Add Document. If you've enabled your client portal, you'll see additional portal and signature options. If the box next to Eligible for Sharing via Client Portal is checked, any user in the practice can send a copy of this document to any client. If the box next to Request Patient Guardian Signature when Shared with Patients is checked, the patient will be able to electronically sign the document from the client portal. To see how a patient will handle document requests, go to Patients, select a patient's name, and then go to that patient's portal tab. To create a document request, click Share Documents, then add the documents you'd like to share by typing the name of the document or uploading the document if it hasn't been uploaded yet. Once your documents are selected, add a subject and instructions, then click Send Document Request. The request you just made is now visible and you can view the status of each document in a request under the Status section. You can edit a request you've made by clicking the Edit icon, then typing in a new subject and instructions, or using the X buttons to remove the items that shouldn't be in the request. Once you've made your changes, click Update Document Request. You can also cancel the document request altogether by clicking Cancel Document Request and Cancel Request. If a patient has signed any documents within a request, you won't be able to cancel their request. The only clinical note you can send to a patient through Therapy Notes is the treatment plan. To send a patient a copy of their treatment plan, go to the Patient's Documents tab and then click on the treatment plan. In the lower left corner, you'll see the Share on Portal button. Pressing this button will create a document request that includes the psychotherapy treatment plan with a signature requested. To send the request, add a subject and instructions, then click Send Document Request. That concludes our Notes and Documents training session. 
If you need additional support, check out our Help Center to access our library of articles and videos. If you prefer one-on-one -on -one assistance, our support team is available at no additional cost. To try Therapy Notes for yourself, visit therapynotes.com and sign up for a free 30-day trial. Thanks for watching.